Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. I call this interesting because the bases are different and we don't know what is going on with the exponents. We're gonna, but we're gonna look at all the cases. So, first of all, notice that I can switch the base in the first one because six is an even number. Therefore, using the rule a to the power two n being equal to negative a to the power two n because the negative doesn't matter here. I can go ahead and do the following. I can write the x minus 3 to the 6 power as 3 minus x to the 6 power and set it equal to the right hand side. Now it's good because now we have the same basis. The exponents will take care of that but let's just go ahead and analyze this in a general sense. So what happened if what happens if you have something like a to the power b equals a to the power c? What are some of the uh, conclusions you can get from here. First of all, obviously, we can safely say that base can be zero, right? If a is zero, this is always going to be true, no matter what b and c are, except b and c cannot be zero. So that's the only limitation we have, because zero to the power zero is in an indeterminate form. The next thing we're going to look at is a can be negative one, but in this case, b and c must be even because negative 1 raised to an even power is always positive 1, so they're equal. Or a can be 1, and we don't care about b and c because any power of 1 is going to be 1. And finally, we can safely say that b equals c, regardless of the a, right? Because a to the power b equals a to the power b. Great, so we're going to be looking at all the cases. One more time, let me rewrite the equation, the modified version, of course. And we're going to look at each case. Let's start with the first one. First case scenario. The bottom or the basis can be 0. So 3 minus x equals 0. This implies x equals 3. Great. We're going to check those at the end. Don't, don't worry about it. Second uh, case scenario. 3 minus x can be negative 1, but x must be even. Because 6 is even, x must be even. From here we get x equals 4, which is even. So we're good, even, Stephen. Okay. So far, so good. Number three. I haven't checked first one, but you can plug it in and you're going to see zero equals zero. Okay, we checked it already. The third one is three minus x equals one, and this means x equals two. It's always going to check because we don't have to worry about any restrictions. And finally, the exponents are equal, right? Obviously, if the bases are equal, so are the exponents, so x equals six, or I should say six equals x, which implies x equals six. And that also checks. So we got four solutions. The solution set consists of 2, 3, 4, and 6. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. And we'll, we'll kind of compare what we found with the graph. Okay, so for this purpose, I graphed both of these functions for you. One of them is x minus 3 to the 6th power, which is the one that kind of looks like a parabola, but not a parabola. It's the, you know, hexic function or sextic function, whatever. And the other one is kind of like a very interesting curve, by the way, very kind of curvy. And notice that uh, for exponential function, uh, our base has to be positive. So this is only defined if three minus x is positive, which means x must be less than three. That's why our graph actually stops at three here, the blue one, right? So we only get two intersection points here, right? x equals two and x equals three. And uh, 3 is probably not even well-defined because, well, actually, if x can be 3. That's fine. Anyway, so why do we see two solutions? Because of the domain of the function. You do not get to see x equals 4, which is here, and x equals 6, which is here. So we got four solutions, as we said before, 2, 3, 4, and 6 for this equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.